Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Okay, it's five o'clock, y'all. So you know what that means? I mean, not five o'clock. It's Friday night. It's about 5.30 right now. September 25th, and I'm doing my second of a six-point uh, six segment of Friday Night Pies. So this Friday night, I'm doing, as you can see by the PV picture, I'm doing old school butterscotch pie. There's two ways to do this, and I'm going to tell you as I'm making it, but this pie is another pie from back in the day. Y'all probably don't even remember, you probably even forgotten about this pie uh, that is so old school back in the day. So it's very easy, it's very simple how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do a, a, a the fancy way of cooking the pie, the, uh, the filling and up. I'm going to show you the old school way of doing it. So anyway, let's get started. And the recipe is in the description of the video. I got a uh, couple of cups of milk here, whole milk, got some heavy cream here. I'm dumping everything in here, y'all. I got some vanilla. I'm adding uh, just something you'll never see me do, just dump cornstarch in here like that. And I'm putting the cornstarch in there already while it's cold. Mix this up. I say usually you, you see me make a slurry and then put it in at the end. Not this time. We're gonna do it the old school way. Put it in there from the beginning. Okay. We got the milk in there. We got the cream in there. We got the butter in there. We got the uh no, not the butter yet. We got the uh corn starch in there, got salt in there with the corn starch. Now I'm gonna add the brown sugar, light brown sugar. Now you can add, you can use dark. I like the light brown sugar because it makes it look more of the butterscotch color, that light, nice uh, brown color. So you can definitely use, and then I'm gonna add the eggs to this. Now this one you gotta watch it really, 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 really close. Because you got all this stuff in here, it's heating up, and you don't want your stuff to, to stick. So that's the key. Got the fire up high. We're gonna bring it this come to a ball, and we want to get this completely, completely thick. So It's going to take about, probably about 10 minutes or so to thicken up completely. And I got a pie shell already. It's completely cooked. It's not part baked. I got a deep dish pie shell completely cooked. And it's going to go in. Okay. I like to change my whips because this rubber whip, it gets all in the crevices of the of my pot here. So that's why I change whips sometimes. So this one has a... It, 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 it cleans all the bottom of it so it doesn't stick. So, okay, I'm gonna step off here in about five minutes. When I come back, I'm gonna add the butter. So we'll be back in about five minutes once it's sticking up. All right, y'all, we are back. I am so sorry, like I told y'all, I am working. While I'm on vacation, I am working alone here. And I didn't know I was off camera until I check after I get off. And I kind of check. And I saw I didn't have the pot on camera. See, okay, you see how it's sticking in there? Okay, now I'm gonna add the butter to this. Add the butter. That's gonna give it the shine and that little extra flat flavor there. You wanna make sure your filling is very thick. That's very important. So your pie set up when it's cool, it'll set up for you. See how that nice, pretty butterscotch color? That's, the, that's why I use the light brown. Like I said, if you want a little darker color, you can use the uh, you can use the dark brown sugar. Look at that pretty. How pretty that is. But see how easy they come together? I dumped everything in the pot except the butter. I just added it, and that's it. The key is to stir it. Make sure you keep stirring. I'm gonna turn it fire down just a little. 
That's the key right here. See how pretty that is? Just like butterscotch, y'all. Just like butterscotch. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take it off. That's it. That's it, y'all. Now, got our pie shell here. Hold on just a second. Now we're gonna. Oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. Working along here. Okay. Still on camera. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do here, all we're gonna do is pour it in our pie shell here. That's it. Pour it in our deep pie shell. That's it. Get it around. Now, now look. You can stop right here if you want to, refrigerate this, and call it a day. Or you can do what I'm about to do and add the meringue on top. So what I'm going to do, I got my uh, four eggs in here, and we're going to whip up a meringue. Y'all know the procedure for that. Got it at this point here. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna add the uh cream of tartar to this and the vanilla. And after that we're gonna slowly add the sugar to this. Mix your meringue. This is what you. This is how you want it, right here. See, nice stiff peaks there. That's it. Okay, now take this off of here, and we're gonna add it on the pie here. And while it's hot, it doesn't matter. Nice big scoop of the meringue. Now the key to this is go to the edge. You wanna always go to the edge with your meringue. Cause you don't want your meringue to pull apart after it's cooked. That's why it's very important to seal the edge with it. See that? Very easy, y'all. Very simple and easy. Okay, now, 
after you get it sealed, then you do your little peaks and valleys with it. I like the peaks because I like when they get that nice brown, crispy tips. And that's it, y'all. Now, we're going to put it in the oven 350 degrees until it get a nice golden brown. Make sure you keep an eye on it. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, think our pie is ready. Oh, yeah, look at that. See that? Oh, yeah, beautiful. Nice and, uh, you got that nice, crispy, uh, like I say, top on there. And the thing is, now, we're going to let this cool. And then we're going to come back later. And I'm going to try to cut this thing. Because, you know, it's going to be the first piece I always the hardest to get out. So I'm gonna come back later and try to cut this thing and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna let it cool about three hours. And we'll come back later on and we'll cut it and we'll see how it is. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, it done cooled here. Now we're gonna cut this and see what we got here, y'all. Like I say the first piece always the hardest to get out. Also, I'm gonna cut a big piece here. Y'all, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Okay, let's try this out here. See how it's set up nicely? Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Nice and butterscotchy, if that's a word. Mm. It pie is so good. Look at that. See that? The rain set up nicely. But like I say, y'all, you can do it without the meringue, or you can do it with the, with the meringue. You can just, just put it in the refrigerator and let it set up like that without it. So anyway, that's it for this video. This Friday night uh, pie special. I got four more to go in this segment of six. This is number two. But like I always say, follow my other social media accounts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, uh, um, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.